one of the difficulties um, when you want to do a PAD is not a PAD itself, but where to get funding. I first tried a number of funding agencies and uh, they, they did not work. Eventually tried Commonwealth, um, which is provided by the UK government through the various Commonwealth countries. Um, and uh, I was selected and eventually awarded Commonwealth uh, scholarship, which is um, one of the most respected scholarships um, for international students. My re PhD research basically um, used uh, a mix of quantitative and qualitative approaches or methods to explore um, the vulnerability and adaptations of um, Ghana's food production systems and rural livelihoods to um, climate change and climate variability. So we first look at what regions in the country were vulnerable to the impacts of drought. As with most um, countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, it's quite vulnerable to the adverse impacts of climate change and climate vulnerability. Um, and this is because already temperatures are high and it is uh, projected that by the year 2050, uh, temperatures across the country um, will um, increase significantly, whilst rainfall would decrease. Agriculture employs a significant, a significant proportion of the low income um, population in the country. Anything that therefore affects agriculture has serious consequences for the economy. So we wanted to know what were the drivers that drive people to be vulnerable in the so to speak uh, resilient region or what drives them to be um, um, resilient in a so to speak vulnerable region. I develop a framework which could guide policymakers in, in, in targeting the most vulnerable in terms of um, uh, prescribing interventions. Just after my graduation, the following month, I went back to the home um, Ghana, to Ghana. Um, I was w w working in, 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 a, in the university before coming, so I, I, I needed to go back to put my expertise to, 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 the, uh, to the betterment of my, my nation. So I quickly went back, and since I, I went back, um, I've been lecturing and teaching um, in the Department of Environmental Science at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, which is in Kumasi, Ghana. The scholarship um, has significantly improved my research capabilities. Um, I'm now able to um, um, publish in, in high impact um, international journals, which in the past I wouldn't have been able to do. Um, so in that sense, the, the, the scholarship helped me to do the PhD, and by doing the PhD, it helped me to also enhance my research skills, my communication skills, my writing skills, and all the necessary skills that I needed as, as a researcher and um, a lecturer. I was given a visiting uh, researcher's position since 2013, which allows me to come to Leeds every uh, summer and, and currently, uh, we are working on how um, adaptation practices promote development uh, or uh, brings other development benefits. Um, we want to look at the kind of things farmers are doing now in the attempt to adapt to climate change vulnerability and how are these things uh, either promoting their well-being or their development at the household and the community level. I was able to come to Leeds courtesy of the Commonwealth Scholarship. I'm not the same person I used to be when I started my PhD. I become a better person in terms of my capability to do research, to, to network, to lecture. The course implications or the course involved in doing a PhD is, is quite substantial. And people like me who come from developing country where the economies are very poor, if you don't have scholarship, it becomes difficult for you to do a PhD. It's good for scientific research community, which is good for the world we live in. And for that matter, what I want to uh, plead with people who can help is that um, you, you, have, you have the opportunity to help somebody to become a great person in the, in the future. There are a lot of brilliant guys out there in um, Uganda, in Ghana, in uh, Bangladesh, 
in, even in the UK, in the EU, what is st standing between them and getting a PAD is the funding.